Diana Armstrong, congratulations. You are officially amazing. Oh, I am Rainia, the daughter of Diana Armstrong, and she has the longest fingernails on a pair of hands. My name is Diana Armstrong. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I always had long nails. Even when I was a little girl, I always had real pretty long nails. Cause my mom always grew her nails, so I always had nails like my mom. So who does your nails? My grandkids. My family love her nails. They just love her nails. <laughs> Like they like pay extra attention to her and they just think she like special. Well, my grandkids come over and do my nail. One nail took four to five hours and I go through about 15 to 20 bottles of nail polish. It started off with uh, my two nieces and then once I end up having my daughter and when she got to a certain age, she just kind of joined the crowd because she loved playing the fingernail polish, so it was like right up her alley. <laughs> Every four or five years, I get them done after that. Now these, I won't get them done no more. Last time I painted my nail was this week, and it took four days. <laughs> Living with my mom, <laughs> at first it wasn't difficult, but the longer they have gotten within the past few years, it became extremely difficult because now we have to be extra careful and we always dodging around her so she won't hit us in the face or something or we won't trip over her nails. I use my feet if I have to pick up clothes off the floor. I can even use my feet to open the refrigerator. I can use it to open the oven, but I want to use to cook with them. <laughs> if I have to pick money off the floor, I can pick up like bills, but if I drop change on the floor, that'll just stay down there. I can pick that up. Yeah, people, yeah, when I go in public, people will stare. Or they ask, sometimes they will come up to me and ask, can they take a picture? I didn't used to let nobody take a picture, but now if they ask me, I let them take a picture. But to me, I think my nails are pretty. But to someone else, they might not be, but they is to me. It always just been a thing that everybody always spoken about and always wanted to just, you know, just encourage her to do it. A young lady called me and, and mentioned it to me. I said, no, nah, I'm thinking it was a joke. And so when she called me, I thought about it, I hung up. And, you know, cause I thought somebody was trying to be funny. But then she called back and I said, well, you gotta talk to my daughter. And I left it at that. But I really did thought that was a joke. When we learned today that my mother had the Guinness Real Record title, I was in complete shock and emotional. <laughs> I was happy. <laughs> um, I don't think my mom would ever trim her nails. I don't think it's, I don't think she's gonna ever make that decision to do that because if she was, she would have been dead it. Well, I've been growing my nails for 24 years. Um, I went through something when my daughter passed away in 97. She had died of an asthma attack in her sleep. She was 16 years old. She did, the only one who did my nails, she parted them and filed them for me. I don't think I, you know, I don't think I ever cut my nails. Every time I look at my nails, I think of my daughter. Cause to me, I think she my God angel. And I just think of her. And so I think that she'll be proud of me because she's the last one to did my nails. And that's who I think of when I grow my nails, is my daughter. 
My family is gonna be extremely happy to know that my mom got the Guinness Real Record title for the longest nails on a pair of hands. And I just want to say that I love, Mom, that I love you. Congratulations. 42 feet and 10 inches long. And you well deserve it and you've been patient for it. So, congratulations. Oh!